Hey everyone, welcome back to another video of Salesforce Makes Sense. In this video, we are going to discuss use case number 18. Find the last 10 account and contact records created in the last 24 hours, right? So the system wants us to define and show the last 10 account and contact records created in the last 24 hours. All right. So we have done something similar in one of the previous use cases. We have shown the last 10 tasks created or rather the cases created, right? But here you have two different objects, two different S objects involved. How do we approach it? Let's find out. For those of you who know how to resolve this and how to solve this use case, pause the video here, give it a try and let me how it goes. And for those of you who are following along, let's jump into Salesforce and let's create our new class. I'll call it Apex Use Case 18. Yeah, and I'll create my new method. I'll say public static void display account and con records. And I'll just go ahead and say, and I can get started with the method, right? Now, what is my ask? My ask is, sorry, my ask is, first thing is I need the last 10 records. Okay. And the second thing is in the last 24 hours. So I have to basically query the database. Correct. I need to query the database to find account and contact records. Cool. So what do I do? I'll create a list of account variable. I'll create a list of contact variable. Okay. I'll call it accounts created. I'll call it con created. Cool. So far so good. And I'll create a query here. What is my query here? I'll select select ID from account. Here I'll say select ID from contact. So far so good. Yes, no. Awesome. Now, ID from account. What are my filter criteria? The last 10 and created in the last 24 hours. So I need to limit it to 10 records because I just need the last 10. How do you define last 10? by putting the order by clause. So I'll say order by created date. How do you sort it descending by putting the desk keyword, correct? So if you have looked at my Sockle and Saucel tutorial, you should be very much familiar with this and you should not be panicking with what I'm writing here. Okay. Awesome. So I have the last 10 records. Cool. But which were created in the last 24 hours. Right. So I need to ensure that where created date is equal to today. All right. So I'll say where created date equals today. Right. That will tell me that these are created today. All right. So I've put the where clause in both my queries done. Now, if accounts created dot size is greater than zero. If con created dot size is greater than zero. Now comes the trouble point, which is what I was waiting for. So we have the result that we want to send to the send to Salesforce or probably somewhere. What do you send here? What should be your return type? What should be your return type that you should send here? Will it be list of account? Will it be list of contact? How can you send both? Can you create a list of object? Let's take a look. I'll say list of object, right? Or rather S object. Is S object available? Let's see. List of object, obj list equals new list of object. Is this something that's available similar to Java? Let's try to deploy it first of all. Let's see what happens. Does it let us deploy it? Deploy it fine. Right. What if I try to create basically add on this list, this particular list, I'll just say add all elements from ACC created and similarly obj list dot add all elements from con created. Save. Will this work? Will this solve my problem? Will obj list contain everything that I had? And can I simply return? obj list from here and I'll say my return type should be list of object. Can this be done? Let's take a look. Deploy. 
says duplicate variable obj list one second what's wrong missing return statement okay this should be returned there was a typo let's try to say deploy deployed successfully right so now let's take a look at this particular method and let's try to see if what we were trying to do has been achieved or not so i'll say apex use case 18 dot display account and contact records for the sake of simplicity i'll just query all the records okay because there's nothing that's created today so i'll get rid of this particular where clause from both account and contacts all right i'll just get the 10 records that's it let's go ahead and say deploy deploy it fine let's go ahead and say execute execute it fine debug logs are loading let's take a look at the debug only log and you see all the ids of the account followed by all the ids of the contact will be here okay if you want to quickly double check what we can do is we can say system.debug obj list size and if it is 20 or somewhere close to more than 10 we should be sure that yeah okay it worked fine all right let's go ahead and execute it again execute close the previous log and let's take a look at the debug only statement so you see 20 records have come in so you see how easily you were able to send data of multiple s object types into a single list of object which is of your global object annotation and you were able to return it right and then you can pass it and you can basically either serialize stringify you can do anything around it when you take it to the front end and then you can use it okay if you needed more fields you can add more fields here on the as the comma separated value all right so that was our use case 18 i'll see you in the next one bye